Happy Father's Day. Go ahead and just turn to anybody and just say Happy Father's Day. I mean, seriously, Happy Father's Day. Do you realize you just insulted the devil? Seriously, you just insulted the devil. The devil has been trying to destroy the nuclear family since the beginning of time. And, and, and as he has done that so effectively here in the United States and in other parts of the world, then he attacks not only the nuclear family, kind of like as a whole, that the family is, you know, oppressive and it's just something that, uh, you know, Europeans came up with. It's like, hello, have you ever read the Bible? It's from the Middle East. It's from like North Africa. I mean, all these things are written in Genesis and so forth. You know, it's from the Mesopotamia. But anyways, nonetheless... They attack the nuclear family, and then they attack men and women individually, so we don't know who's a man and who's a woman. And then, then we say that the kids are being oppressed if you tell them no. I'm just telling you, fathers are absolutely important. Every study shows that when there's a father around, the daughters are more likely, like way more likely, to get married, have children, and be successful. No dad, much more likely to be assaulted, much more likely teen pregnancy. Young men, dad around, a lot less likely they're going to end up being in jail. I mean, it, it, the, the numbers are staggering. Dads, you matter. You matter. Now, um, I realize that on Father's Day, some of us have had dads who have abandoned us. Hey, my dad committed suicide when I was five years old, abandoned my family. I get it. But don't take that out on something that God created and called it good. What you got to do is say, you know, Psalm 68, this is what I did. Psalm 68 said that God, our, our Heavenly Father, is the Father to the fatherless. And you hold on to that. And then you say, my dad may have, you know, not done well in these different areas, but you know what? By God's grace, I will. By God's grace, my, my children will. My daughter will love a good husband. My sons will act like good men. And that's really what we need to do, friends, is rise to that occasion. Now, I prayed with some of us already this morning. I realize some of us have kids who are, um, you know, won't even contact us today. I just want you to know my heart goes out to you. Children are supposed to honor their fathers and mothers when they're little children by obeying, as they get older, by showing consideration to them. If you haven't reached out to your dad, do so. But remember this. All of you have a heavenly father that loves you so much that Jesus Christ came into the world. Now